playing back audio in Pro Tools is easy. If the clip is in the very front of your timeline, simply hit return and then hit your spacebar. Look at dance as a way for me to get exercise. You use the spacebar to start playback. Look at dance as a way for me. And to stop playback. If you hold shift and click on the spacebar, the audio will play back at half speed. Look at dance as a way for me to get and you can use the space bar to stop that as well. That behavior goes back to normal as soon as you stop it. So if I hit the space bar again, look at dance as a way for me to get exercise, the audio will play back normally. You can also use your mouse to start and stop playback. If you go to the top left hand corner of your window, you'll see what's called the transport. The play button is here. Left click on that to start playing. Look at dance as a way for me to get exercise. And just to the left of that, a square, and you can click on this to stop playback. You'll notice that every time I hit the space bar to playback audio, look at dance as a way for me to get, and then when I stop the audio, look at dance as a way for me, the cursor or playhead always goes back to the beginning of the clip. Look at dance as a way for, look at dance as. Sometimes it might be preferable to have that playhead stop exactly where we've stopped it. In order to do that, we want to activate the function called insertion follows playback. We can do this by clicking on this icon right here. With that highlighted blue, when I hit the space bar to playback audio, look at dance as a way for me, and then the space bar to stop the audio, this horizontal line now stays exactly where I stopped it. When I hit playback again, to get exercise, it will continue from where I've stopped it. So if I start again, look at dance as a way, basically what we have is play pause for me to get exercise or play stop when I turn this function off. Look at dance as a way, look at dance as a way. This function can be toggled on or off easily, either by clicking this icon or by hitting N on your keyboard, which will turn the function on or turn the function off. The vertical black line scrolling across the window in Pro Tools is called the playhead. Look at dance as a way for me to get exercise. Whatever this vertical line is crossing over, that's the audio that we're hearing at that time. The cursor in Pro Tools, when you have the multi-tool selected, dynamically changes depending on the orientation of the cursor. In the top hemisphere of the track, I have the selection tool, and I can place that playhead wherever I'd like by left clicking. Left click here, it will play from here. Left click here, it will play from there. Look at dance as I can also do the same thing by clicking anywhere on this gradient gray line just above the clip in the timeline. Here at the beginning of the clip, look at dance as a way from and hit the space bar, it will play from there. If I hit return and place the playhead back to the beginning of the project and hit play, the playhead look at dance will play from the beginning of the project. If I place it after the clip, it plays after the project. So playing back audio in Pro Tools is a constant series of place the cursor, look at dance, play back the audio, place the cursor, as a way from play back the audio, place the cursor, size, play back the audio. And that's how you play back audio in Pro Tools.